Man, when I take my family on a vacation, we want to relax. We don't want any problems with prejudiced white folks. So we go where we know we won't be bothered. That may be down home to visit the family, up to Canada or Cape Cod, or even abroad to Europe or Africa. One popular vacation spot among Negroes is the resort town of Oak Bluff, Massachusetts, situated on Martha's Vineyard, an island just off Cape Cod. For fun and relaxation, thousands journey here each summer from all over the country, forming a sizable Negro colony which gets along with, but keeps somewhat aloof from, local and vacationing whites. Doctors, teachers, and other professionals are prominent and many have bought and maintained summer homes for their wives and children. Okay, guys, there. Weekend parties at places such as Sag Harbor on New York's Long Island are a specialty of Eastern club and fraternal groups. Still barred from membership at most country clubs and disgusted with attitudes at resort hotels in the Catskills, Miami Beach, and other holiday spots, some club members fly into such private parties from other cities to claim their place in the sun. Not all Negroes are pleased with the Negro middle class, however. In my mind, there is no uh, black middle class, it's impossible for it to exist in this country. We have those who aspire to be uh, a middle class. And, and to that group, I would say that they have been almost totally, 99% negligent in their response uh, uh, to the struggles of the masses of black people in this country, and that they have, in many instances, in fact, hindered that struggle.